This is the second in a series of screencasts looking at the creation of drag and drop exercises within Microsoft Excel. In the first screencast I showed the final product which looks a little bit like this and in this next one we're going to start to produce uh, this effect. So I've got here a spreadsheet created, I've put my title in already and what I've done is I've identified the uh, items that are going to be in my boxes and I've just put them in there in a random order uh, in the list. I could either have done this on paper or I can do it on the computer. I've done it on the computer so that you can see uh, what I'm doing. So first thing we're going to do is draw the continuum. Now the easiest way to do this is I'm actually going to use a text box. I don't often use text boxes but this is one case where they work quite well. So I'm going to put aerobic at the top and then I'm going to draw another text box And I'm going to have an aerobic at the bottom. Now the reason I use text boxes is uh, if I select both of them I can make the text bigger quite easily. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to insert a line and I'm going to use a double headed arrow. I can connect the boxes together and what that will do is it will uh, make sure that the lines in the middle. At the moment they're not aligned, that doesn't matter, that's all going to make sense in a second. So I'm going to format my line first, that's currently selected, it's a bit thin so I'm going to go to shape outline and weight and I'm going to make it a bit fatter, I think three would be about right. I'm then going to go back to shape outline again and to the arrows option and you can see here that I can change the arrowhead, so I'm actually going to make them into circles. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my aerobic and my anaerobic. So I'm holding my finger on the shift key and I'm clicking on two, two of the boxes. And then I'm on the format tab here, I'm going to go to the align option and I'm going to align center. And what that's done is it's moved them so that they're all beautifully in line. And that's a very simple way of creating the continuum. And I could have done this either vertically, as, as is the case here, or horizontally. I'm just going to use my arrow keys just to nudge it around a little bit and get it roughly in the right place. Okay, so there's my continuum sort of set up. Another thing that I can do while I'm here is I'm going to group them together. So I've selected the three items, hold my finger on the shift key, I'm going to go to the format tab group and group so they're now one item. If I then right click on the item and go to size and properties and properties I'm going to change it so that it's uh, locked which is what it is and I've made it so it doesn't move or size with cells so if I move things around on the screen later that won't move with it but the key thing here is it's locked and that will become apparent later on uh, as we get towards the end. Now another useful thing to do at this stage is to think about how this would print if I wanted to print the resource. So I'm going to go to page layout and orientation. I'm going to change it to landscape. Now what that does is it will show me this dotted line is where the, um, that the resource will print on, on paper. So it gives me an idea of my layout. So at the moment that's quite good because that's going to fit on my paper quite nicely. I'm going to show us how to draw the first of the um, shapes and then we'll put uh, the text into them in the following screencast. So I'm going to go insert and shapes and I can use any of the shapes here so I could use um, an arrow or a rectangle or a pointed arrow. Um, if it's quite a lot of text I'll sometimes use numbers in say a circle like I've got here or a hexagon and then have a key on the right hand side or whatever with the text in. But for today I'm going to use this one here which is an arrow with a sort of a box attached to it. So I click on that and I'm going to draw one of them roughly the right sort of size something like this and you notice here you get these yellow diamonds this allows you to change the shape of it so if I drag that one for example it makes the box bigger but keeps the arrow the same size this one here will just change the size of the arrow head and that one will uh, again change the size of the arrow head so moving those four around will allow us to change the items in the next sequence I'll show you how to put the text in here, how to align them uh, and format these boxes.